What's going on guys? Yuring with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to the tutorial on how to randomize any Pokemon game ever created from the main series for consoles, not consoles, handheld consoles. Basically it doesn't work on Pokemon Coliseum. Get it over, get over it. Okay. Anyways, this works on like what? Red, blue, green, yellow, silver, gold, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire red, leaf green, blazing yellow. I know that doesn't exist. Just saying. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Black, White, Black 2, and White 2. This works on all those. I'm just trying to make it very clear, okay? Um, go to this website. Top link in the description. It'll say Pokemon Random User Randomizer Versal thing. Anyways, <laughs> I, I screwed it up on talking. And then you want to click this little downloads thing here. And then click click here. Get it here by clicking here. And it'll, it'll take you to this. And then what you want to do is you want to click this little thing right here. It'll say File. And I'll have the link. Click that, and uh, you can you can save it. So, I already have it all downloaded, of course. So I have it right here. Here it is. Uh, and you will get it in a RAR file. Okay, so you'll have a RAR file. You need WinRAR, Google WinRAR, or I might put a link to get it. But yeah, so I'm assuming you know how to open a RAR file and how to extract files from it. It's literally click the button that says extract files not that complicated and you will have all well you won't have um you won't have these three files right here because that's a rom i did anyways you will have this thing that's called an executable jar file and i'll say randomizer you need to have java installed on your computer just saying what you want to do is you want to double click on this open it and then you wait i don't know why my i don't know if you guys can see that but my mouse is like flashing and it's driving me insane stop doing that okay you will get a window like this the first thing you want to do is click on open ROM right up here in the top. Go to wherever you keep your ROMs. I keep mine in a file a folder called ROMs. Let's pick just for the heck of it. Um, let's go Pokemon Diamond. Okay, and wait for it to load up. Might take a second. No ROM loaded. Don't you lie to me. I just loaded one. Or it might be freezing. You might just say that because it's loading it. I just realized that. Uh... I have no idea. Oh, okay. There we go. What did I do? I made it all big. My bad. Okay, so now it's all loaded up. You see Pokemon Diamond U, ADE, support complete. Um, we, this has a lot. This does a lot more than just randomizing, so I'm going to cover all the things. General options. Uh, you can update moves, which, if this is checked, moves will be updated to their Gen 5 stats with power and accuracy, etc. Uh, when, when possible. This is available for every game except Gen, game, Gen 5 games where it's not necessary. So basically, you know, if a move had like different stats in Gen 3 than it does in Gen 5, it'll be updated to its Gen 5 stats. So yeah. Remove trade evolutions. Very, very, very useful. Um, if you're not playing a hack, if you're just playing a normal game and you're playing on an emulator, definitely click this because then you can't get Gengar, you can't get Golem, can't get Steelix, all those. Now you can. Simple as that. So click that. Um, over here, these aren't uh, race mode. I don't know what race mode is. I've never really paid attention to that. And no game breaking moves is definitely... Uh, a useful one so I would consider checking that so Pokemon based statistics what this means is um, that for example it okay <laughs> unchanged means that their base stats like you know attack defense and all that unchanged leave a normal shuffle they'll have the same numbers but they'll be shuffled around so maybe if, if a Pokemon has a high attack stat and a low defense stat those may get switched random is that you just get completely random based stats and they follow through with each evolution and ran okay, I shouldn't need to explain this much to you guys. You should be able to figure this much out. So, yeah. Uh, Pokemon abilities, you can randomize their abilities, and you can also choose whether or not to have Wonder Guard. Starter Pokemon, this is when it gets fun. You can have it on, it on none, or like unchanged. You can choose which three you want. Randomizing completely, or my favorite option is randomize it, but it's always a basic Pokemon with two evolutions, like Ghastly, Nidoran, Pichu. I don't know if baby Pokemon technically count or not. Um... But yeah, Pokemon types, this is when it really starts to get fun. You can randomize a Pokemon's type. You can get like a Fire Gyarados. And you can choose it so if it follows through evolutions or if it gets a brand new evolution or if it gets a brand new type every time it evolves, which would also be awesome. Pokemon move sets, which means uh, it gets a brand new level up set and you can choose it so it prefers getting the same type as its actual type or it could be completely random, which is awesome. Trainer's Pokemon, this one has a lot of options you can have. Every trainer in the entire world has completely random Pokemon. Uh, you can have them so they're type themed as well. So you have like fire trainers, water trainers, bug trainers, 
all that. Uh, for some options, like say you choose random, you have rival carry starter through game, your choice. Use Pokemon with similar strength. Uh, I actually don't know what that means. Don't use legendary, no early Shedinja. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. And randomized trainer names, randomized trainer class. Those aren't exactly the most like amazing options, so that's really your choice. For wild Pokemon, here's like the big thing. <laughs> you can choose it's normal, you can have it on random, with additional rules of I, uh, type theme areas, which is actually kind of cool. Like one route will only have flying type, one will only have water. So it's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, I don't know what catch them all mode is. You can set minimum catch rate, don't use legendaries. I don't know very much about these two options. I always just pick random. Static Pokemon is, I actually don't know anything about static Pokemon, so I'm sorry there. TMs, you can have the TM moves, like TM01 I believe is like Dragon Claw in Gen 3. You can change it so it's just like the most random thing ever. Maybe it's Explosion. It's just amazing. And um, TM capability, you can randomize that as well. So you never know what TMs a Pokemon can learn. It's amazing. So yeah, this randomizer does it all. It's absolutely spectacular. Now you guys can stop asking me how I randomize Platinum. This isn't how I randomize Platinum, but now you guys can. So, rawr. Enjoy. You're welcome. Until next time, I'm Marty Tegelio.